Hi, insiders. This is Jackie Jackson. I'm a loan broker with TDJ Equity Funding. And today I want to talk to you guys about real briefly is about something that is great for our real estate investors. If you're new to it or you've been doing it for a while, um, I'm going to try to give you some things that we run into as loan brokers um, that kind of help. Well, don't help. It kind of um, makes it harder for you all to get loans or get approved. Um, so we want to start giving you some insights. So those that are in our groups, you're going to be able to get that as well as documentation. Uh, we are uh, lenders that work with real estate investors and we work with business owners. And we are we find lenders to fit into your box instead of fitting you into their boxes. That's one of the main things that's really good about us that works well with our clients. So for this Friday favorite, what I wanted to discuss was an item that a lot of people may not be aware in the lending process when you're looking at real estate or you want to buy additional real estate or you have real estate and you want to actually do a re not rehab I'm sorry you want to do a um, refinance and cash out so let's talk about that because I actually had an experience with that lately so we saw that it may be something we need to kind of address so with this refi and with this uh, cash out the person already owns the property. So it's a single family home. They already own it. She owns it in Kentucky. So it's a property she already has. And she just want to pull money out of it. Nice equity and everything. And I want to talk about that a little bit too. So basically what we're going to do is talk about this unknown item, which is DSCR. Okay. DSCR is debt service coverage ratio. How does that affect your loan money? Well, this is how it affects the loan money. When you actually want to go get a debt or you because that's basically what you're doing on a property, that property is actually since it's income property, that income has to show that it can cover the debt or at least let's get a decimal what it is covering for us the debt. OK, so the definition for debt service coverage ratio is it measures a real estate cash flow to pay current debt obligations. So. A DSCR shows a lender whether your real estate for its investment has enough or you collect enough income to pay its debt. So how do you figure that up? Well, DSCR is figured up by taking your net operating income and dividing it by your debt service. Now understand that's going to give you a decimal point of 0, 0.00. In the lending industry, they want you to be above a 1.25. Okay. So with that, you need to figure that out. Well, you say, well, how do I figure that out? I'm a landlord. I have one property and I do rents based on what I heard people say I need to do. Or I looked on Zillow and I think I figured it out from there. Well, we're going to give you a formula that you definitely can figure it out. That'll make you look good for lending whenever you want to refi or cash out. This is so important that you have to know what that is because what happens, you may get less or not such a good deal. So let's give an example and show you what's been denied. You have a rent for $950 at your single family place rental. It's $950 a month. And the new loan that you want to get and make is actually going to be $1,300. So let's say we do the refile on it, the cash out, you don't get like $40,000 back. And so you're just going to have a new payment now. Add that on, pay plus what you already owed on the property. They're going to pay that off. So you have a new loan. And so the new loan is $1,300. Well, when they figure it up, if you look at 950 and divided by 1300, that's a 0.73. So it's not a 1.25, which lenders like to see that. So if you do even a 1400, meaning raise your rent up to 1400 and you're doing a $1,300, 1300 a month loan, then you look and then it is at a 1.08. So you can kind of play with that number to get it where it needs to be over 1.25. And then you want to look at your place and see, okay, does it qualify for this much rent? Do I need to do something extra? Especially if you're cashing out, I would hope you would do something extra. But you can see, do I kind of do something extra with the place to justify this rent? Or how should I handle that? That is where you need to, this, this kind of tells you where you should be on your mark where you won't just be guessing. Because one thing about lending is really not a guessing game. It is when you don't know. We know, so it makes a difference. And that's why it's very important for you all to reach out to us if you can. But anyway, going on, if you guys uh, would like to get some more information on the DSCR 
or any other information, then definitely uh, contact us. Um, you can make comments below this video. You can also uh, reach out to us at our private Facebook group because at that group, we're going to let you access this presentation and there's other presentations that we're going to give you with documentation. The only documentation will be in the Facebook group, which is TDJ Equity Funding Insider. So definitely you guys go to that private group. At the same time, we're talking about a lot of things that's dealing with you guys for us getting loans that's on our podcast. And so our podcast is TDJ Equity Funding Insiders. You can pick it up on any uh, podcast platform that you have. And then you can also stay tuned on what's coming out as far as what's happening in the money world as far as you getting that. And that's what we're going to be teaching you. So thank you all so much for the little quickie we did for Friday. And hopefully we'll see you guys again next week. So thank you and you all take care.